Okay, we're going to look at segment length again. This time we are given two bits of information. We're given two uh, two coordinates and we are told their length. I haven't written the length yet because I've got a couple of things set up here. So, um, I can't really do. Anyhow, we've got a point uh, and we're told the length is the square root of six between these points. So our points are two and a and four and two. Now, to help you visualize this, four and two, that's a point. We know exactly where that is. That's going to be about here, four and two. Now, this two and a, well, we don't know where that is. That could be anywhere on this line where x equals two. <coughs> so what's going to happen here, we've got our point four and two. We've got a line of the square root of six, and we've got a line of the square root of six. <coughs> so this will give us two answers. All right, so what we do here is we set it up as uh, our length. So this is point A, and this is point B. We know the length of is the square root of six, so we say, um, use our formula. A, B equals x2 minus x1, all squared, plus uh, y2 minus y1, all squared, and then we take the square root of all of that. So, what we do, we substitute our values. So we've got the square root of 6 equals, now we've got our 2x coordinates, so we can do um, 2 minus 4, doesn't matter, all squared, plus our 2y coordinates, it's a minus 2, all squared, so that's square root. Square both sides, we end up with 6 equals, and I'm going to simplify this, uh, 2 minus 4 gives us negative 2, negative 2 squared, plus a minus 2, all squared. Now I'm going to square this and make it 4, so we've got 6 equals 4 plus a minus 2 squared. I'm going to bring this 4 over to the other side, so it's 6 minus 4, it becomes 2, so we've got 2 equals a minus 2, all squared. Now, we're going to continue simplifying. We don't want to have a square there, so we take the square root of both sides. So this ends up being the square root of 2 equals a minus 2. Now we've got to be careful. If we square two, if we square the square root of 2, we get uh, 2. If we also square the negative square root of 2, we'll get 2 as well. So this is actually plus or minus the square root of 2. So now we want to add 2 to both sides, so we're just left with a. So we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 equals a. So that tells us we have two possible solutions. We can have a, this coordinate here, can either be 2 plus the square root of 2, or it can be 2 minus the square root of 2. That's what it tells us a, b. We can have any, we can have either of those two. Now, we can also look at this as using our coordinates and square root of 6. We know square root of 6 can be written as square root of 2. Sorry, not square root of 2. That can be written as the square root of uh, 4 plus 2. Now, according to Pythagoras' theorem, we have to square whatever we've got and square whatever we've got here. So we've got to take the square root of both of these. So square root of 4 is 2 plus the square root of 2. So now what we're seeing here is our distance is, um, and then once again that will also be negative. So this could be 2. <coughs> Sorry, we won't make that negative. What we're seeing here is that to go from 2 to 4 is a distance of 2, and to go from a to 2 is a distance of square root of 2. Because remember, that's our width, that's our horizontal distance, that's our vertical distance. Horizontal distance, vertical distance. 2 to 4 is 2, a to 2 is root 2. And from a to root 2, if we want a distance of square root of 2, if that's what we want as our distance, well then a will have to be um, 2 plus square root of 2, or 2 minus the square root of 2. We're still at a point of 2. 
still at a point of 2, but we can go that way, square root of 2, or rather we're dealing with vertical. We can go that way, square root of 2, or we can go that way, square root of 2. So that's how we can uh, determine segment length. If um, That's how we can use the segment length to determine a uh, coordinate. So, set up your equation, substitute your distance, substitute your coordinates, square both sides, simplify, rearrange, square root, so square root, Remember, we'll have a plus and minus, and then simplify again, transpose again, so that we're left with just um, our unknown coordinate. And then from there, there should be two responses. The only time you won't get two is if it's zero, because you can't have plus or minus zero.